hey guys welcome back to the channel and today i wanted to do a quick update on what i'm doing with my star wars galaxy of heroes uh with my clan in particular let me just uh there we go with my clan in particular uh palmyra prisons of war missing in action uh if you guys know me at all most of my clans in games that i play like uh guild wars yes i still play guild wars one not guild wars two guild wars one um star wars galaxy of heroes um and even star wars galaxies i've always had a clan called palmyra prisons of war missing in action and it is my way of saying you know paying homage to the veterans of whatnot of yesteryear and so some of you guys have been asking me about my roster and why i haven't gone for certain characters and what characters am i farming at the moment and so i figured i would show you so and let me just move my camera out of the way as you can see guys i do now have jedi knight revan however my jedi knight revan isn't isn't that highly geared mostly because i've been farming a lot for other characters now bear in mind i farm for gear for for characters much later on um same as mods as you can see i'm using basically a rainbow color of mods again really mods and gear is the last thing i need right now i concentrate on getting the characters unlocked first then i concentrate on the, the gear and the mods right afterwards so i recently unlocked jedi knight revan and the only character that was holding me up was Jolie Bindo. Jolie Bindo was holding me up. For some reason, I was doing, you know, 10, 15, 20 uh, uh, attempts at trying to get his shards. And all I would ever get is a max of like two to four. And it was really ticking me off. It was like the game knew that all I needed was Jolie Bindo. And, or, or Jodie Bindo, however you want to pronounce it. Jolie, whatever you want to Bindo. And so it purposely kept saying, here's one shard, here's two shards, here's one shard, here's two shards. And it was ticking me off. Well, I finally got him maxed out, finally got him to gear seven, you know, eight, you know, five, six, seven, eight. I got him to gear eight, got him health mods. Why? Because he's a healer. Most of his heal abilities go off on how much health pool he's got. So the higher his health pool, the more heals he can give out kind of thing. Just common sense. Got him and got Joanne, got, you know, uh, uh, Karth or sorry, I, I got all the characters required to do it. Now, right now, the thing that's holding me up from getting Sith Lord Revan is I need to get better skills with, uh, with HK 47. HK, I believe is the answer to that boss fight. Um, there are guides out there that you can get on the Wikipedia page and, 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 on, and on YouTube and stuff like that. So I'll, I'll probably look it up at that before I start assigning Zaders and stuff because Zaders are, are, are getting harder and harder to acquire the comps for on a free to play account. And that's what my account is. My account is entirely free to play. I have never spent a single penny on this game. Okay. Granted, I've been playing this game now for nigh just shy of three to four four years now off and on i started playing this when i lived back in utah in 2017 2018 2019 20 21 so yeah four years i've been playing the game for four years so that should tell you something um and so i've gotten a few characters that i honestly thought i would never get um and i've mostly solely been focusing on my imperial side i'm an imperialist i love the empire i i I'm sorry, Rebellion, but you're just scum. I, I want to bring order to the galaxy. This is why the first two characters I got maxed out at Gear 13 was Darth Vader and Emperor Palpatine. Um, and yes, I do slowly keep grinding on those to get their... their um, to get <laughs> to get their uh, uh, Relic Amplifiers maxed out. Um, as you can see, I'm, I'm, I'm actually quite long on Relic Comps, but I can get those. That's not a problem. My sole focus right now is to get Veteran Smuggler Han and Veteran Smuggler Chewie so I can get Rey. Yes, I understand that Rey is not a, an Empire character, but at the same time, I'm also grinding out Admiral Piat. The reason why I'm getting Admiral Piat is one, amazing actor, two, amazing character, and three, just all around. If, if you've read any of the graphic novels around Admiral Piat and, and he, he's... Um, 
his whole back character and whatnot, you'd understand how much of a freaking badass he is. Um, Admiral Peart, believe it or not, is actually from Alderaan. And when Alderaan was destroyed, you know, a part of him was like, uh, you know, he's got this like internal struggle kind of thing. And um, he also has deep affection for, for Vader, um, which is why, you know, Vader helped, you know, don't, you know, don't fail me, Admiral Piet. You know, this is why Vader kept bumping up in rank in that in, in um, Empire Strikes Back. Um, but uh, fluff aside, I am an imperialist. I love my Empire characters. I am slowly chipping away at them. They're at a, a point where they're strong enough to hold their own. Um, I don't do PvP. Everyone knows this. I don't bother doing the PvP. I don't bother doing the shit PvP because. Those two mechanics are only set out for one thing. He who throws enough money wins. That's it. Free to play characters do not stand in apps any kind of chance whatsoever in any kind of PvP. None whatsoever. So I don't bother doing the PvP side. I just go in and and after the first round, once my action, I retreat. That's it. You guys know this. Um, I still get I still get enough points to to, to get whatever I need. And there's no really point to it. Anyway, um, so I've got Jedi Knight Revan unlocked. Some of the other characters I thought I would never get un uh, get unlocked, let alone uh, 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 enough to get them maxed out, was Dangar. Um, huge fan of Dangar as well. If you've read his backstory about how he saved Boba Fett from the Sarlacc pit, uh, that is canon. I'm sorry, that is canon. It's been in graphic novels, it's been in actual novels before Disney purchased the entire thing and tried to retcon Star Wars, jog on Mickey fucking mouse. I'm sorry, but Dangar rescued Boba Fett, okay? It's also how in Mandalorian, the armor shows up, undestroyed by Sarlacc acid. There you go. Now you know who rescued him. It was Dangar. You also know that Bo uh, Borsak was actually uh, um, Boba's mentor. So, there you go. Again, canon. Um, but I realise that there's a combo you can do with the Old Republic that's actually quite, dare I say, broken. And that is Zalbar and Mission Vo. Um, Mission, me and Big Z forever... Um, that right there, that ability, is just so broken. I literally, she was doing 20k non-crits to, to the boss, the raid boss, at the end. And, and it was just disgusting. And she's not even maxed out. I haven't even given her, you know, her other abilities, like don't blink. Mission gains 10% turn meter if a target enemy was debuffed. I haven't even given her that ability yet. Um, just me, me, me and Big Z forever is just broken because all you've then got to do is kit out Z, Zalbar, to use health and speed. Okay. Health and speed. Speed, 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 speed. All you need is, is Zalbar to have speed. As you can see, seven speed, eight speed, eight speed. Uh, four speed. That's the lowest speed mod I've got, I think. Yeah, this one doesn't have a speed mod part of it. But, yeah. And that way, every time Zalba does an ability, mission, pop up 20k, pop up 20k, pop up 20k stealth, pop up 28k, pop up 28k, pop up 20... And these are not crits. These are just out-of-turn shots that she's taking. When she does crit, it's like 40k. It's ridiculous. And, of course, you've got Wookiee Toughness. Again, like I said, I haven't even maxed out Zalba's abilities and him and Mission Veo are such a cool team if you want to do a, 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 like, like, like a, a test put those two together they do really good because um, they've got the synergy what else um, oh there's actually not Darth Maul um, Maul yeah I got Maul where is it uh, Jawa Engineer where did he go where's Jawa Engineer there he is I honestly thought I did a video a couple of, now almost, almost a couple of months ago, where I said, I doubt I will ever get Joa Engineer. I've got him, and I've got him maxed out. Why? Because Capital Games listened to players like me and a few others and said, look, this five shard is horse, horse radish. 
come on the game's about playing characters the game's about having fun how are you having fun if you spend six seven eight nine months to get enough shards to go one star then you pull out an event where all your whales get to go first and your core player base who if you're trying to get them to become paying customers stop putting the bar so goddamn high so what they did was they said okay instead of it being five shards you get ten shards in the shop that actually helped me out a lot because for some reason joa engineer just kept coming back up coming back up coming back up coming back up and so i eventually just got him unlocked and just started chipping away at him slowly but surely but don't call me shirley and slowly there he is i got him maxed out um i th i think he that was the last Joa I needed. Um, I have every other Joa in the game. Um, yeah, I've just got to work on regular Joa. That's it. I've just got to work on regular Joa. There you go. Here we go. Let's, let's level him up real quick. Yeah, that's it. I've just got to work on regular Joa. He's the only one I have left to work on. Um, and yes, I do like to have a mess around and do a Jawa team and, and throw a droid in there. Um, usually it's, um, oh God, what is it? Uh, the droid card with the shields. Cause he's got, he's the, to me, he's the, be the best tank in my, in my set. But then I can also throw in the, um, rebel Imperial droid from the movie from Rogue One. Um, again, cause it gets instant counter. Um, what else is there? Um, apart from Joe engineering, Jedi Knight Revan. Oh, um. Genosian Brood Queen. I am so glad that they made her available for free to play characters because she's such. She's amazing. She is is by far one of the best separatist characters. Period. Because she has such good synergy with other Genosians, which is why I've got every Genosian maxed out. I'm not even kidding you. I actually do like doing a, a, a quick run with my. See, doing a quick run with my Genosians. They're all 85, they're all like gear level 9 or 10, um, and they can do some damage, um, especially in like Galactic Wars and stuff. They can do some damage. They're, they're, they're very scary, unless someone's purposely sent in you know, Zated characters to purposely take them out. Um, other characters that I am in the process of grinding out, where is he? Because I've got to add him to my favorites to bring him to the top. Where are you, Mando? Mando. Oh, uh, Moff Gideon. Another good character for, for Imperialists to grind out as well as Sith Empire Trooper because he does have good synergy with, again, with Sith and also Empire. Um, the Armorer, she's going to be a good character to grind out because she's a good leader for Mandalorians if you want to do a, a full Mando team. Shame there's really not good enough Mandos. Same as uh, Chewbacca here. Um, my 3PO Chewie, yes, it is a droid. You could technically throw him in with the Jawas. Um... For, for the lols. Let's see what that one does. Uh, if they defeated 3 for Chewy, I revived for health and protection whenever an other ally is revived. Oh, that's kind of cool. Problem is, only works for rebels. Um, so yeah, I need to grab Mando. Where are you, Mando? I know you've got a Zader on you, so you're, you're pretty high up. Well, they've recently made Mando grindable. So, he, it, there he is. He is one of the characters that I will be Assisting in a critical damage up for two turns. Cool. Swift shot on a critical hit. Gain a critical hit up chance for two turns. Do not really have it. That's kind of cool. Um, so yeah, I'm going to be grinding out Mando as well. So that's kind of cool. Um, but that's my goals. Is to grind out Mandalorian while grinding out, you know, uh, Admiral Piat and Veteran Smug. Now, the reason why is because this is in the... Han here is on... The red cantina so woohoo 10 shards that's actually pretty good um normally i only get two to two to five so 10 shards there let's promote him real quick boom two two stars away and then i can start working on getting veteran uh chewy done and we can go from there of course let's see 152 speed he is slow again i don't have uh see there's a 32 speed slot i'll probably put in there once i get him maxed out uh gear wise 
Um, don't worry about true shot. Can I try that? Don't care about that. Resistance, rapport, health steal, and veteran smuggler Chewy or resistance ally and leader slight is defeated. Han takes an additional turn after that. Okay, so don't really care about that. So there is that. Let's go to Mando. Let's find him. There we go. Give me some shards. One shard out of five attempts. Now you start to see where I'm telling you where the game knows. I swear the game knows that you're trying to grind out specific characters that only gives you one shard, two shards, one shard, two shards. And when it gets to characters that you're like, eh, I'll, if I get shards, I get shards. They're like, oh, okay. So like right here, you can buy 16 shards. Again, I don't buy shards. One shard and two of Poe. Okay, so I can level up Poe now. Um... Not that I care about resistance Poe. So we can actually so we're gonna level up Han. There's that. Now let me go down to Poe should be right at the bottom because I haven't spent a single point in him. Some people are looking at my roster going, why haven't you ranked up this? Why haven't you ranked up that? You do you, boo-boo. There are certain characters that I know I'm never gonna use. One of which is the resistance characters. Um, in all honesty, once I've gotten, what uh, um, once I've gotten, you know, Jedi training Ray, I'm never gonna look at resistance characters ever again. Sorry, I'm not. Um, one of the other characters that I thought I, I, I'm having a hard time trying to get is Blaze Malbus, uh, mostly because. C 9C hard. That's a lot of credits, like, like energy credits to spend to possibly get two shards for one character. But he is a tank and he is needed for the Rogue One squad. So to some, it would be worth it. So let me just collect these. I believe there's going to be some General Kenobi shards in here. Okay. Yep. Yeah. So now I've just unlocked General Kenobi. So let me just go unlock General Kenobi. There we go. There you go. Whoa, legendary. Sorry. And no, I have no intentions of putting points into him. Yeah, I know. I get it. You know, what's his leader ability? Jedi and clone allies have 15% percent my health and defense and after Jedi ally uses a team healing ability, special ability, all other allies gain full health. Uh, at full health are called to assist dealing 50% less damage. When a clone ally uses a special ability, they gain a buff, attacker, advantage, support, stealth, tank, taunt. Ah, okay, so he would go good with the fight with, with the clone troopers. Um, so we'll look, we'll look at uh, doing something with him. Um, he is a Jedi, so he would go well Eh, you know what? It's going to suck, but I'll do it. There we go. Level 85. Let's upgrade his gear. Two. No, we're not doing crit avoidance. There we go. Upgrade it. Nice. So he's got that. It can work on his gear here in a bit. I'm not going to bother giving him any skills or anything just yet. But there you go. We're now General Kenobi. Woo. Um... 
what else? So yeah, General Kenobi, yay. Um, again, don't really care. Once we get um, Veteran Smuggler done, swapping them out for Veteran. Uh, uh, once we get Veteran Han done, we're going to swap them out for Veteran Chewy. Once Mando's done, I'll probably swap Mando out for Sith Trooper. And then once Admiral Piat's done, I'll probably swap Piat out for Admiral uh, Moff Gideon. Sorry. Either Moff Gideon or I'll look at probably getting Darth Nihilus. Again, like I said, guys, I I do what I do because it's up to me. I don't see the point of 3PO, which is why I don't care about doing the murder bears. I just I just don't like 3PO. Never liked him as never liked him as a character. And I just don't just don't like him. So let's look knock out these dailies. So let's buy this. Let's buy that. Buy that. I'm pretty sure you guys know about the, you know, do your daily missions kind of thing. 5k, let's see. Got young. Dun, 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 dun. So there's only one really red and tie fighter. I'll grab it. Grab that for credits. Nothing in here. There's literally nothing in this shop I ever want. So this is just dead credits. And I mean that, just dead credits. What I might do. Is buy some just for the shards. Because I know I'm going to convert the shards. Right, I'll buy that. U speed, no, a U speed, no. Crit chance, I'll take that. Health, defense, health, offense, protection, health, don't care. Uh, ships. Again, really nothing here for me to want to buy. I'll get this, some cinema shards. There we go. Anything in here? Wumper, but that's about it. Ooh. Yes. Give me some of those. Hoff Rebel Soldier. Yeah. Save me wasting, wasting grind out. There you go. Super Commando. Alright. Let's check out. Championship. Nothing in there I really want. Shards. Dong. Anything in here I really want? Nope, not really. I buy a whole bunch of low tier stuff and whatnot. And it would be nice if we had the option t to convert higher tier stuff down into lower tier stuff. For example, the fact that I've got you know, um, 267 of this pulse modulator, but no tier 3. So why can't I take this pulse modulator and convert it to tier 3? You know? But, you know. Alright, so let's get me daily done. Literally, I can just auto this. That's what I do now, now, time, now time, 9 times out of 10. So. Anyway, guys, you've seen the roster update. And here, boom, 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 buff, shot, 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 up, dead. <laughs> Literally, guys, it's that easy. I, I, boom, boom, pop, pop. 
buff, grenade. Dead, dead. 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 <laughs> I love it. I love it. Ugh. That's it. There's nothing nothing Krennic can do. Without without his death troopers, Krennic's useless, see? <laughs> it was that easy. Another health with speed. Seriously, with without the death troopers, Krennic is literally just useless. Alright guys, so uh, I'm going to leave it here. Now you've seen the, the roster update, you know what I'm doing. Till then, I'll see you in the next video guys. Ciao.